What it do, what it do? This your boy Lil Stretch, I'm back. Yeah, make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, follow me on IG, hit the comments on YouTube, DM me on IG, and I'ma answer as many questions as possible. Y'all know the shit I got my cigar, got my yak, and we about to talk about it. Feel me? So a lot of DMs was, uh, ain't on Clubhouse too. I got a Clubhouse called Real Dumbo Love on Clubhouse and a lot of homies from uh, the East Coast, down South, even Canada be coming in and showing love and, you know, we be building it and that's what's up. Um, so they be asking questions on there, we be chopping it up, we be chilling. So yeah, if y'all is on Clubhouse, y'all join that club, it's Real Dumbo Love. We on there on some real homie shit, some real love shit, uh, bringing homies together, bridging the gap. But I kept getting the DMs on uh, the update and, and uh, what's up with Yard Down Music and uh, what's the future like for Yard Down, right? So I say, you know what, I'm going to get on my channel and I'm going to talk about it a little bit. And uh, got my other phone right here, so I'm going to go to the DMs so I can ask the questions correctly but uh, uh first of all we still have uh uh little nino I'm glad that nino he's saying he's making a comeback and i'm rooting for him and y'all y'all keep tagging him and keep adding him and telling that nigga really make that comeback you feel me uh gt just came home i'm trying to get him back in the booth you know what i mean so y'all keep on tagging him and add him and so we can try to get telly back in the booth you know what i'm saying um uh, but Yard Down Mimi been doing her shit. She didn't drop the album. She doing songs down there every day. Working with a lot of different people. When the uh when the next album coming, Mimi? When they want it. When they ready. Oh, they want it? When they ready? Yeah, I stay ready. Oh, uh, she stay ready, so she lit. So uh hold on, let me go to the DMs. They saying, will we ever hear something from G Nut? Uh, that's going to be a hard one. <laughs> that's definitely going to be a hard one. And I got that DM and a lot of people be asking me about Gina. Is he going to come back? Uh, and uh, probably not. I ain't going to even front. I hate to bust out bubble. Probably not. Whatever is already out there on YouTube and all the social platforms is probably what you're going to get from Gina. Um... Yeah, he just, you know, he retired. He don't really want to, well, he loved music. He loved music, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he's a fan of hip hop. But, uh, you know, uh, but I don't know. Y'all ask him, man. Y'all DM him and tag him. Hey, Gina, we need some more. We need some more. We need some more. We need some more. Because I'll be on him too. Like, he don't want to do it no more. He know he raw. He know he hard as a motherfucker. A lot of niggas can't fuck with him. But, you know, he look at it like, you know, I'm older, uh, the rap game ain't paying what it's supposed to pay, and he got to focus on uh, his career. And, and shout out to him. Shout out to the big homie, G-Nut. If y'all did know, I'm pretty sure y'all do know because y'all follow me. I always up this nigga up because he's he doing some big shit. He's an instructor in the Carpenters Union. And if you don't know what that means, that's big. Because <laughs> niggas, where we from, we don't become union instructors <laughs> he's not in the field no more he's teaching the class he's teaching carpentry and that's big so to get him back in a booth that's gonna be hard but it might can happen though you know what i'm saying like i say he jumped on uh mimi came with the where you from he jumped up there and spit what was that eight bars 16 what he gave us that was eight ten gave some hard shit he came off hard so shout out to nut on that man and uh yeah like that Hold on, I'm trying to find out the DM. That's all the questions. Lil Stretch, would you ever rap? Uh, I'm not a rapper. I suck. I'm terrible. I did do the two-step with Mimi, like I said before. I already talked about that a little bit. Because she, like, 
She she wanted me to do like a verse or something. I'm like, I can't do a verse. I might can do a hook. You know what I mean? So I did the two step slide like this. Do the blood walk. I do by like this, and that shit is lit. Y'all don't mean me. Future little stretch two step. The official video is out. It's on YouTube. Shot the video on my birthday in Charlotte. Y'all go check that out. Y'all go fuck with that one. And I did some intros. I did the intro for my nigga Rec Banger. Uh, City of Bompton, I did the intro for that. I did the other intro for my nigga uh, AB, featuring my nigga Chef, out of the A. And uh, you know, I may be good for a hook, I may be good for an intro, but like eight or 16, I ain't got it. I ain't gonna even cap. I wish I did, I ain't saying, I ain't nice like that. I, mean, I ain't gonna be one of them niggas like, <laughs> y'all fuck with my shit. Huh? You got eight bars on this track? Oh, I do got eight bars, but it wasn't good. Like, oh, I do got eight, I do. That was the, uh, what was that shit called? We had remix RJ shit on Ride With Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah Yard Down, me featuring a little stretch. I came with like eight bars, but it wasn't really good. I was just kind of fucking around and we was at the house. Me and me, me on the MacBook just playing, fucking around. But you know, I know that ain't my gift. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be one of them niggas. Cause there's a lot of niggas out there that suck. And swear to God, they rappers. And swear to God, they tight and be mad when a nigga don't post they shit. Sitting that shit like, hey, bro, we post this shit. I don't even want to hurt these feelings. Like, man, that ain't your gift. But, so that's just me. I ain't going, you know, I ain't, that ain't my lane. You know, I'm going to stick to my promotion. You know, the yard down was popping. We had to hit your brand in the 5678, the deep in the rap. You know, I was head of promotion, so I'm going to stick to my lane. You know, it's a football team. Man. Everybody got to play their position. You know, like a football team, you got the quarterback, got the wide receiver, man. You got the punter. You got the linebacker and, and everybody role is, it means something and it, it take everybody to do their role 100% to win the championship. So I'm gonna stick to my lane. I'm gonna stick to LS, you know what I mean? Can't be nobody but LS, you know what I mean? But definitely we have hits though for yard down and uh, them hits gonna live forever. Five, six, M8, that's a classic. That's gonna live forever. Hit your brimming gonna live forever. Uh, deeper rap gonna live forever. The Bosco disc gonna live forever. <laughs> and it's crazy. I'll be like in a mall and like slot me. This in traffic, and, and motherfuckers will pull me to the side like, "Hey, bro, that Bosco disc, that was the shit. Like, why your boy G not doing you like that? Like, man, G got an animal in that boat. Boy, don't fuck with him. Don't piss him off, nigga." That nigga, that nigga Bosco pissed Gina off. He did that song in a day. Nigga came to the hood the next day. Oh, shit. Burning down the house. I know that ain't my cigar. Fucking up our video. So, uh, we shot the Bosco disc. We shot it at Harvard Park. Like I said, he did the song. The next day, he came to the hood. We was at Harvard Park, we shot the video. Nigga, we didn't even have a cameraman. Nigga, we had a tripod. We was pushing on record, come on the other side of the camera, all the homies, and we was turned up for the video, nigga. We was just on some hood shit like that, getting it off the mud, man. Yard down, really got it off the mud, you know what I'm saying? And and, and I always said, I'm gonna continue to say, like, far as Yard down, it was like, it was more like a hobby, you know? Uh, niggas love hip hop, niggas fan of music, and, 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 and uh, we enjoyed doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I always say, it was like a nigga that was hooping, you know what I'm saying? He probably never made the league, but on those off days, spare time, you might go to the gym, you might want to follow on five or three on three or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, well, we would have loved to make it, yeah, but are we hurt, sad that we didn't? No, because we was having fun. We brought the homies together, you know what I'm saying? And and, and put good music out there and gave shit for the, for the hood. And, and, and Gino was always... He was always big on that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you know, he, he had got a studio and he was paying the rent and, and, and all the studio equipment and he paid thousands for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Thousands. And he was working a construction job, a union carpenter, just like what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And he was, but he did that for the, for the young homies because he didn't want to just be that big homie. Like, you know what? I'm going to put these niggas in the spot and have them serve this, serve that. And now they going to prison, now they getting killed. So he was trying to keep niggas out of jail doing some constructive positive shit, you know what I'm saying? So the story behind Yard Down is big, you know what I'm saying? And um, 
And I ain't gonna lie, man, and, and, and I ain't even, like, no cap. Like, even to this day, like I said, that's why I meet the moss, whatever. Motherfucker, but, hey, man, what's up? You are damn, man, y'all gonna do some more shit. And I'd be surprised because I didn't even <laughs> realize we did as big as what we did. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, again, man, shout out to everybody that did songs with us, man. Um, so we got some big names on some, on some tracks, man, like Ty Dollar Sign. We got Compton Menace. We got my boy from the Bay, Mr. Fab. Uh, we got Mitchie Schlick. Uh, Compton AV. Uh, we got Joe Moses. Uh, I don't want to leave nobody out. Mozzie. Shout out to Mozzie, man. Shout out to Mozzie. Uh, Al B. Al. Free my nigga, man. Can't wait till you come home. You know we lit. Nigga, free Al B. Al. Jersey City. You already know this shit. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we had fun, though, man, but, uh, yeah, but Lil Nino say he coming back, Mimi gonna stay working, that's just her, uh, hobby, she gonna make music regardless, that's what she do, you know what I mean, so, yeah, you are young gonna live forever, man.